exactly on end of semester show. Now we're gonna see an improvised show, fully improvised. We have no idea what's about to happen, and we're gonna enjoy every second of it. Uh, we are Improv Technion. I'm gonna present the cast to you in just a moment. We are a group that works here in Technion and, uh, and teach free of charge improv to everyone from all ages, all groups. And each beginning of semester, each end of semester, we hold the show. So everyone, let's give a hand to the cast of the show, Improv Technion. We have quite an eclectic group here of many people from all around the world actually. And this is why for the first time ever we are holding a show completely in English for the benefit of everyone here and I think we all earned something from that. We are new faces and new experiences in new languages. So what we're going to have today is a show that's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half long. As everything is improvised we can't be sure of how long it's going to, it's going to be. Uh, and everything is going to be uh, improvise on the spot. We're going to have a few games, a few short games, segments that come along one to the other with different players in each segment. We're going to explain the rules of each segment whenever the time comes. And uh, we're going to ask for suggestions and uh, inspirations from you while we do it. Uh, before that, I want to ask of you, uh, as now you give a very warm hand to everyone here and a nice welcome. But uh, there's one song that we don't want to hear, and that's a ring of your phone. So please, everyone, have your phones on silent if you haven't got them already on silent. Um, and we want to have active participation of you during the show, uh, but, uh, whenever we need it. So let's have some warm-up here. I'm going to ask you to give me suggestions about uh, specific things. Uh, so let's say this part of the Alex. I'm going to count three to one. And when I say one, I, wanna, I want you to tell me what you like more, cheese or milk. So. Three, two, one. Cheese. Okay, cheese overwhelmingly. Okay, normal people here. Awesome. <laughs> okay, one. <laughs> so, in this part of town, you heard how loud they can be. Okay, so show them off. Uh, our one I want from you is give me the best country for vacation. On yeah, three, two, one. Highland. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the German one again. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Uh, so this is the show for, for now, and uh, every now and then I'm gonna ask for the participation out of you. So it, it's gonna be either inspiration. I'm gonna need words from you, ideas from you to give to the players. And sometimes every now and then you're gonna have people come from the audience and be on the stage to so show you that, that you can improvise as well. Don't worry. There's not gonna be the most difficult things ever. It's everything is things that have been tried out and tested, and uh, it was proven to be safe. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm gonna explain everything, but I do want to say now, uh, every now and then, I'm gonna ask someone to come from Dallas here and tell us a story, a true story about something that has actually happened during their life. It doesn't have to be a funny story, uh, it doesn't have to have a punchline, just some story, something else to give us ideas. So you can start to figure out what kind of stories you want to share with people here. Uh, okay. So, that's, <laughs> we already have questions. Does it have to be like a really happy story or a sad story? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Just a story, some details, then we're gonna... Is it a reality story though? Yeah, true story. Don't right. make up things true on the spot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, okay, everyone. So, you can take a seat. Thank you. Ooh. And... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. For the first game, I'm gonna need quite a few people, so... Your attention, please. I'm gonna need Shimon, Nitzan, Eran, Toma. Clara, Fred, Fred, Nashet. Okay, so all of you here, yeah? please stand in a line. We're gonna play a little game called storytelling. And in this game, we're gonna tell you all a story. You all, uh, everyone here is gonna tell us one uh, story, continuous story that would probably make a lot of sense. And in this game, only each of the players here can talk at a given time. Only one player can talk at any given time. And I'm gonna go around and point to them, and whoever I'm pointing to is the only person who's allowed to talk. But that's not it. They're gonna, uh, you're gonna give them genres and kind of books and movies and everything, and they have to tell the story in that genre. So now I need your suggestion. So for Shimon, I want a um, uh, film genre. Horror. Tarantino. Horror. <laughs> so we have horror movie. Okay, for Lana, I want a genre of books. Science. Sci-fi. 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 Science fiction. And for Nitsan, I want a genre of TV series. 
Sitcoms. Sitcoms. Uh, for tomorrow, I want to run off uh, films again. Musicals. Yeah. Musicals. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That was your spot. Okay. <laughs> okay. For bread, I want a genre of books again. Fantasy. Horror. Fantasy. Fantasy. Okay. Uh, for Claire, I want a genre of TV series again. Crime. 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 Uh, crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And for Nashed, I want a genre of. Uh, let's go with TV series again. We haven't explored enough. A documentary. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the genres again. We have Shimon. Horror. <laughs> we have Elan. Sci fi. We have Mitsan. Setcom. Toma. Musical. Fred. Fantasy. Clara. Crime. Nashet. Documentary. Okay, awesome. What I need for you now is a title for the story. Give me a title for a story. Kidnapped. <laughs> you can explore That's all the vocabulary, yeah. We can go I like food. food. I like food. Okay, I like food. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, listen to the story. I like food. I'm gonna be here, try and I, I don't want to watch the camera and try and sit here. Okay, so uh, the story of I like food. John the Vampire really liked food, especially little children. At the night, when the night is dark, from the planet. With the three moons and five suns and the aliens that look like this and they all eat little children. So as he sipped his coffee, he wondered to himself, when is he gonna meet the woman of his life, the one he can share children with, as lunch and dinner? And then he saw this woman, she was fantastic. He wanted to sing, he wanted to sing his love for this woman. And, and this woman had fairy tails <laughs> and wings on, the, on her, and she flew away to the other planet. And at that moment he thought, oh, he would do anything to get her back. That's <laughs> right, anything. And so he retreated to the back room of his house and he began making plans. <laughs> and, and as we can see, the average plan last exactly five minutes. <laughs> a plan after a plan after a plan. And so he, he had all of these ideas coming of new plans and it was like so, so, some birds were singing the ideas to, to him. And so he laughed, of course, and then he shut down his computer after he wrote on all these plans and he thought to himself, I think it's time. Time. To draw the knife and kill, kill all the little, kill the little, <laughs> kill the little children. That's right. He took the children into his home. He already, he already prepared the, uh, that prison. It, uh, we can see that, that he used the, a stainless steel to prevent erosion. And then he found out the lock was broken and the children got out and they were running. So he took out his anti-matter super <laughs> laser gun and he pointed his super neutron beam. And he, and he took it and he looked and he found this old book. And he opened it. This, and in the book he found a song. <laughs> Based on the on old German fairy tales fra, from the, the year 700 BC. With equations from quantum mechanics <laughs> and eerie voices coming. And then he saw the girl again. So he stole her. <laughs> For the next game, I'm going to name Uri, Toma, Fred, and Shimon. Okay, so this is a game, it's called Three-Headed Expert. You're gonna see a morning show. Morning show when you usually open up your morning and you see all those interesting people from all over the world giving interviews about expertise. So this is the show they're gonna be, so Shimon is gonna be the host of the morning show. And the expert that is bringing on the show is actually Three-Headed. And the, that Three-Headed Expert is here, Thomas, Uri and Fred. And that we had an expert can only speak with one, eight, only each hat can only say one word at a time. So let's say an example. So, uh, expert, tell me, how is your day going? My day is super duper nice. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> so, 
Okay, what I need from you as inspiration is the field of expertise of our expert. It would be very interesting if it would be a field of expertise that actually doesn't exist. So let me give you I actually think the field of expertise that exists. Give me, give me fields of expertise. Gardening. Bio, biology, biological, uh, life of uh, uh, tile of bread. Life music is unbreaking. Quantum fireman. What? Quantum fireman. Give me an idea. Ideas. Anything, everything goes. An expert of three headed experts. Two mana. The history of forks. Expert of biology. Okay, the history of forks. I'm sure it's a bit of expertise, but nobody actually cares about it. <laughs> so, we're gonna have the show, uh, the interview with an expert on the history of forks. Take it away, Shemur. Hey, 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 hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome to the uh, Nickelodeon Morning Show, in which we, we, we have an expert. What, what's your name? Senor De La. Porta. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, ma mommy told me never talk to strangers, but he seems nice. You don't give me candy, right? I not um, candy. <laughs> well, this is very good. Mom said he can be suggestive. Oh no, this is very really sad. Hey, hey, please tell me. Where, where do you study about this very, very ancient history? It all started at the museum of, of the ancient <laughs> forks. <laughs> oh, museum of ancient forks seems very interesting even though Museums are very, very, very boring. Now, and please tell me, Mama told me you always have to use fork for eating. Is that right? Absolutely. If you want to eat properly. <laughs> wow, this is so deep. Mama will be very <laughs> What? Another question. Do you have things I can eat without pork? No. Hey, pork? <laughs> no. I don't believe in food without <laughs> pork. Wow! My mind is wrong. And, and another question. The, the kindergarten teacher? I hate her. C can I kill her with pork? You have not learned uh, to move your fork. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very yes, yes, very yes. And one last question, maybe from the audience? But we have no question. Where did you study? Where did you study? But where did you study your field of expertise? Ah, the answer. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I don't know about you, but I learned so much, and apparently I'm in the wrong field in Technion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. So, uh, for the next game, I'm gonna need uh, Uri, I'm gonna exhaust you here. Uri, oh. Thomas, Fred, uh, sorry, 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 Uri, Clara, Nashet, and Eran. Uri, yes. Uri, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so the next game we're gonna see is called Hollywood Director. And now we're gonna see an actual, actual uh, Hollywood production here. Uh, something very professional. And in this scene, in this uh, film that we're gonna see, we're gonna have Uri and Clara start a scene. In a, in a movie that we are uh, going to talk about briefly, they're going to start a scene, and after a while, Nashad is going to join into that scene as another character. So, uh, that, this is, it will be a scene out of the Hollywood film. After a while, Elan, who is the director for the scene, is going to get tired, or he's, gonna be, he's not going to be pleased <laughs> with something that he saw. He's going to run onto the stage and cut, uh, cut the scene, and tell the characters what they did wrong, and how should they improve it. And then we're going to see them improve. Uh, by uh, going with the suggestion of the director. Okay? 
So, what I need from you, audience, uh, is the name of the movie. Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> a movie, again, a movie that you don't want to see, okay, or it doesn't exist. The it's chair I stuff. sit on. <laughs> the chair I sit on. You gotta see the film. The chair I sit on. Wait, now I take it away. Honey, honey, it's so good to see you. Oh, is it? It's so good to, to see me? Yes? I... What do you mean? Do you know where I found us? Wow, this is a good looking chair. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. I bet it looked good in your TV room without me. <laughs> hey, baby, this is not what you were thinking. I swear, when I bought this chair, I was thinking about us. Then why didn't you tell me? It's, it's because... It's because... There's someone else! It's because there's someone else! You know what? Yes, I like to sit in this chair without you. My body's big enough for... This chair is only big enough for one of us. Hey, hon. So... I, I heard that you bought us a chair, right? Oh my god, y Amelia? <laughs> Amelia? You came in the wrong time. <laughs> but, but, but you promised me you were gonna leave them. You two deserve this chair! <laughs> but Clara, no! I don't, I don't fight you anymore. How did you do that to me? Hold on, no! hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Come on, sugar, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. listen, yeah, listen up, on. people. Lovely people, listen up. I want to see something passionate. I want to hear, I want to see, especially I want to hear it in a poetry slam style. <laughs> so go, take it away. Come on. Honey, what a wonderful day to see you. One chair, two, <laughs> not me. My heart, my heart, my heart. <laughs> I can't believe you say this. I can't believe you say this. This chair is not for me, it is for you. <laughs> lies, lies, my heart felt the lies as the air felt the thighs of the other person sitting in this <laughs> This chair is only big for one but. My but. But, but, always a but, never an and. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my but. A but only of a home invader. I wanna see some well, TV. I wanna watch some movies. I'm, I'm gonna sit on this chair. Amelia, you will never ameliorate this situation. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now listen, listen up, listen up. I know, I know. Big poets won't come out of your head, so that's okay. So how about we do something else? And this time, I want to see a romantic tragedy. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Clara, my love, I'm so excited to see you, finally, after all this time. <laughs> I'm not happy to see you. <gasps> no! Because I have seen someone else before you came into this room. I have seen a new chair in your TV room. Clara! This is not what you think! I wish I could believe that! I swear, this is only for you and me! If it weren't for me, why wouldn't you tell me about it? It is all because I can't. It is too much. You've got to understand. I must, my love. No! 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 Why did you leave? We sat on this chair. We loved each other. We shared those, all, uh, all those intimate moments. He has broken your heart too. In front of the Big Bang Theory, yeah. <laughs> like okay, okay. Listen to that. I may need some time alone. You're fired, get out of here. For the next game, I'm going to need Ido and Toma. So, this game is called Twin Pillars. 
And this game, I'm gonna, it's the first time you can participate as a, uh, in our game. So I'm gonna need two volunteers from the audience. Okay, we have one here. Do we have another volunteer Woo! on the other side? Gil, we have Gil and Shimon. Shimon. Gil and Shimon. Okay, so give Andy. <laughs> this is going to be a pleasant little game. In this game, you're going to have Toma and the door and have a scene. And every now and then, you're going to forget the word they want to say. Um, but don't worry, everything is under control because we have our twin pillars here. And they can remind our players what, uh, the, what's the word that they forgot. So every time they forget a word, they can. Uh, put, place their hand on the shoulder of one of their own pillar, and that pillar will just say a word, any word whatsoever. You can think about the words now. You can just have a bank of words, and you can just improvise on the spot. It doesn't matter. Make sure you know you don't. You not supposed. You don't have to have them. Okay. You can have your words already. And uh, whenever they use a word from the pillars, then the players would repeat the word out loud, and then they have to justify why this word is exactly the word that men say all along. So Ido, can you show us how it's done? So sure. give us an example. Okay, I uh, went today to the improv, but in the way I found Maguette, Maguette and I stepped over it accidentally. <laughs> okay, thank you. So again, repeating the word and then justifying why it's exactly the word that it was, it was supposed to say. So I need as an inspiration from you, give me the relationship between Toma and Ido. Sisters. Access. Yeah. Okay, access. Your access. Take it away. <coughs> You're here to see me. Well, not really. I was here despite your presence here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Actually, I wouldn't have come uh, if I had known uh, mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. Uh, how, how to make uh, mayonnaise a meal. You know how much I love mayonnaise. It just clears my paper. My paper. <laughs> I just spread it all over it. It's like Tipex. <laughs> yes. That's why you came to steal my that's mayonnaise. That's why we're no longer together. Because you used this uh, trick to clean your papers too much. <laughs> How could you yeah. say that? You said you loved it in bed. Oh my god, it's just microscopic, microscopic <laughs> down there. <laughs> Not a lot of mayonnaise. But, yeah, I understood that the separation was a bit difficult, but I don't think it's a reason to insult me that way. And to say... Golf. Golf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now you're sport. insulting my sport! <laughs> now you're insulting golf! The only thing I've ever loved, beside you, of course. But golf was... Forest. Forest. <laughs> like Forrest Gump, which is a better man than you. <laughs> Well, you know he said, life is like a box of chocolate, you never know chemistry. Chemistry! <laughs> you never know chemistry! Not even the chemistry between us! <laughs> well, uh, I study chemistry, so I know quite a bit of chemistry. It's not just the same kind of chemistry, I studied the chemistry of... Bridge. So bridges? No. <laughs> to, 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 how to make concrete that can withstand very, like, huge forces. Oh, Jordan, now you're just bragging all over your magnificent uh, resume. You think you're better than me because you yes, went you and did a degree in chemistry of bridges and I only had a degree in... Rocks. Rocks! <laughs> the history of rocks, if to be more precise, you know? You're just an asshole. <laughs> I can't stand to look at you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, for the next game, we're gonna call the stage. And we're gonna have Fred and Clara.
Okay, so this is the game, it might be my favorite. This game is New Choice. In this game, uh, uh, Clara and Fred are going to act out the scene. Every now and then, I'm going to erase whatever was said, I'm going to clap my hands and yell out New Choice. Whenever I do that, the last sentence is completely erased, it has never happened, and the player has to come up with a new sentence that comes instead of their first one. So that's an example. So Clara, what did you eat this morning? I had a great plate of eggs. New Choice. I had a salamander. New Choice. I ate my mom's hair. Then, yes. <laughs> okay. So what is the uh, inspiration is a uh, profession. What is a profession? Uh, okay. Doctor. Doctor. Doctors. You have doctors. Take it away. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Catherine. This is mine. Yeah, I didn't think you, you were doing a good enough job. <laughs> what the fuck? New choice. Really? <laughs> really? You think I, I'm not? This is my profession. It's okay. Everyone struggles their first few years on the job. I just thought I could do a much better job with the Hendersons than you could. New choice. Really? Really? You know what? Honestly, I think at this point you should just go home. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how, how should I ever oh, learn this? Yeah? Come on, Catherine. You're supposed to teach me this. Yeah, you know, some students are what they call unteachable. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm this? New choice. I'm not unteachable. You know, I arrived here, I... New choice. Really? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's that! Clatter. It's that attitude, right? Somebody gives you one criticism and immediately you fall into this shame spiral. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. New choice. You know what? I'm sorry. I, I thought I could do it. I thought I could. I was trying to bad cop you into the doctor you could be, but I just, this is hurting me as much as it's hurting you. I'm gonna get my clipboard. You think to get? I'm gonna get some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. You know I would never hurt you on purpose. Can I have some chocolate, please? New choice. Why? This is milk chocolate. New choice. No. <laughs> oh no, you don't like my chocolate? Oh. Yes. You cry. Yes. You don't like my chocolate? <laughs> you cry. <laughs> you don't like my chocolate? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Okay, the game we're gonna have now is called a foreign film. You're gonna watch a foreign film in a language that hopefully none of us speak, even though we are, have quite a range of languages uh, in this room, I think. Uh, we're gonna choose the language that none of us speak and we're gonna watch a scene from a film in that language. And of course, since none of us can speak that language, we're gonna have people to, uh, to translate what we're seeing now. So in this game, we're going to have Owen and Nashet play out the scene, and we're going to have Clara to translate whatever Nashet is saying, and Elan to translate whatever Owen is saying. So the first thing I need from you uh, is the language of the foreign film. Finnish. Okay, not Finnish. Finnish. Does anyone here speak Finnish? Okay, Finnish it is. Okay, make sure you're still on stage. You'll be far out. Okay. So. Okay, we're gonna see the Finnish film, and the title of the Finnish film is... Scorching Summer. <laughs> <coughs> Finland is not Sweden. <laughs> Burning chairs. Oh, oh, oh my dear. 
Oh my god. Burning chairs. <laughs> we, we had enough chairs for today. Dental decay. Dental decay. <laughs> the, Finnish, the, film, the Finnish student film Dental Decay that uh, uh, ended up being a PSA for everyone about their teeth. So take it away. <laughs> Oh, this won't hurt one bit. I've got this year in the world. Oh, no, I like you. Oh, you don't like me? You don't like the man with the drill in his hand? <laughs> Shimon, Oron, Nitzan, Elan, Ido, and Joseph. Okay, so what we're gonna have now is we're gonna have a montage. We're gonna have a succession of scenes of a few storylines. And I'm gonna talk uh, more about how uh, it's all uh, gonna be. And, but I want you to keep in mind, as an, as an inspiration now, this will be your chance. People at the backstage, please be quiet. So, uh, uh, as an inspiration, I'm going to call out uh, for you to come on stage and tell us the story. So, hold the story in your head, and I'm going to ask uh, for volunteers to come on stage and tell us the story. Um, uh, so, uh, I want to explain how it's going to be. So, let's go to the stage a bit. We're going to see a succession of scenes. And whenever we have two players on stage acting on the scene, so now we have an Italian door. The acting on the scene, this is a storyline. And let's say someone other of the other actors that are on stage, they have an idea of how to progress the story, and they can take out one of the characters by taking them on the shoulders. Then that character goes away, and Joseph now entered as a new character, but the same storyline. So we're still telling the same storyline. And whenever, let's say, Ido wants to come back to that storyline, he can tap Joseph back on the shoulders. And now Ido is the same character he was before in the same storyline, and the story has progressed. Let's say we feel like we have had enough of that storyline and want to tell a new story with the inspiration that you gave us. Then anyone from the side can sweep the scene by running in the front. Now everyone clears the stage, a, a new storyline starts, and two people come on stage, two new people come on stage, and uh, this is a new storyline. And even if uh, it's the same actors from before, it's a new storyline, new characters, everything is new in the story. Okay, so those are the tools of editing that we have. And now it's your time. I, I would like to have a volunteer on stage telling us a story. Okay, we have Gil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a 
another opportunity for someone to come on stage and tell a story. So uh, have a story in your mind for the okay. let's see if you were to hear also like in the middle uh, of the story. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if, if you're okay with us uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, using the first version. Sounds okay. good. Okay, so I'm sitting in the movie watching the movie A Star is Born. Okay, and you're getting towards the end and Lady Gaga's crying, you know, she's on stage, I don't know what's the movie. And all of a sudden, like, you hear behind me, Atachatsuf! Echidamedabelaka! I'm like, you're turn around. What's going on? And like, this woman, like, spazzing at this guy who took out his phone in the middle of the movie. And like, we're listening to this lady, Atachatsuf! Echidamedabelaka! Like, you turn back around, like, you see the credits. And credits of the movie, and you're just like, what just happened? Like, this woman just totally ruined this two and a half hours we sat here for. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I think that chutzpah is an international award, yeah. but uh, if, if someone uh, is okay, the award was uh, how rude of you, how rude of you. This was uh, the Hebrew part. Thank you, you for the, the story. And now we're gonna have a montage of scene for mm -hmm. that story. So we're coming from technically the montage from the story. <laughs> Butter and oil in those movie popcorns. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mouth is so moisturized not right now because of it. Just the popcorn just sliding in. You know, it's so salty. Reminds me of my tears. My tears every time I come with you to the cinema. Stop complaining. You know we have to wipe all the sweat from you for the popcorn. They like it buttery. <laughs> Come on, don't finish around so fast. Ah, I'm starting to like this job, I see. Uh, you know. uh, I told you, Alex, you have a future here in this business. You're sweating like a So, we've got a complaint. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, not enough sweat, I guess. No, no, people got sick. Oh, you got sick. Well, like painfully sick. Well, what? Do like projectile vomit sick. Well, <laughs> I I have no idea. What? So I went to this place and they had some popcorn there and it was really really disgusting. Oh, you <laughs> call that popcorn disgusting? Have you seen what she's no. doing? This kind of disgusting. Yeah, that's what we got complaints about, buddy. Have you heard about a shower? <laughs> or deodorant. No, no, Stacy, don't come into that room. No, no, the killer is there. No. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, we're just we're trying to enjoy the movie. Shh. She's about to get murdered. She's about to get murdered by an anti He's gonna be alive. He has a hook, buddy! A hook! Oh no. Oh no, no, yes. don't eat the alien, no! Yes, yes, yes! Fuck her, yes! <laughs> Sorry, we are trying to enjoy my wife here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, but you're interrupting. Just be quiet. <laughs> Stronger! Stronger! Please! <laughs> oh my god, no! No, no, no! Don't cut that! Don't cut that! No! Oh my god, no! no. Oh. I'm sorry if my first one sounds circumcision and you kind of ruin it! <laughs> and it's been a long time! It's everybody's son now! <laughs> no! Don't go into the ground! Don't do it! Don't go into the ground! It's what the dead people well, are! Well, you ruined this funeral! I don't like that! No, it's but everybody's it's... funeral. <laughs> <laughs> so do you mind? <laughs> Dude, got an idea. I know how to drive people crazy. Oh yeah, your yeah. has never did us wrong. So we got arrested a couple of times. I don't see a problem with that. Well. Um, What's not a criminal record? Exactly! A criminal record is nothing, you know, you can get it expunged eventually. Uh, but so, dude, idea, idea. Mm -hmm. 
So we go to the movies. We sit behind a loving couple. And we eat loudly. <laughs> For starters, maybe. <laughs> You're thinking small. You need to think bigger. I'm uh hungry. We can get the popcorn, okay? We can get the popcorn, we're going to the movies. But we sit behind, behind a loving couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a loving couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you know what we're going to do. Offer dessert? <laughs> I'm hungry. You got to eat all the Twizzlers by yourself? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. Huh. Oh, good. Maybe I don't know. You're not even gonna share, like. No. What? No. Well, okay. Okay. No. Okay. You better remember that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta sleep on the couch tonight. Do you remember with these guys, huh? Oh no, shit! Sure, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that. No, you gotta tell me. Come on, it's gonna bother me today. Huh? Yeah, come on. Cool. Honey. 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 And he didn't tell you. That sick bastard didn't tell me. And he didn't share the Twizzlers. I've done it before, so I swear. How could he? Why doesn't he listen to us when we don't listen? We listen to him, not to the movie. I'm like his mother. That's all his mother's fault. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm uh, looking for your father. Um, uh, okay. I see a Twizzlers uh, disagreement. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you were of divorce being kind of expensive. Uh, I mean, more expensive than Twizzlers. He's gonna pay, so that's fine by me. Uh, well... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> I would suggest reconciliation. Is that an option? Have you met his mother? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring up my mother. Okay. Oh, your mother is in our relationship oh. from the very beginning. Oh, is she here? No, she Yeah. Here. Oh, look, she's suddenly here. <laughs> of course she's here. She's always here. <laughs>
And then like, Kaka! And he's like, Ma! Exactly! Whoa! Wow! You mock them! I swear you mock them! Okay, thank you very much! And now we're gonna move on to a game called. Oh, sorry, let's say we want to have Yosef, Joseph, and Nashet. In this game, uh, I need two volunteers from the audience. Two volunteers from the audience. Okay, we have one in the back. Two audience? What? Two audience? Two volunteers. Yeah, you want a volunteer? Yeah, so come down. Okay, so we have. Woo! Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, yeah. Katya. Katya? Natya. Natya. Natya and Katie. Hi, Natya and Katie. Hi. Uh, in this, this is a game called Pinocchio. And, as you can probably guess, we're going to have two puppets on stage that can't move. They can only speak, going to use their voice, but they can't move. This is why we have two puppeteers here. So, uh, uh, so you would move Joseph, and you can move Nasha. So in this game, you move them by just grabbing on their hands, and moving their head, and <laughs> tilting it the way you want to, and wherever you want to. <laughs> and if you want to make them walk, you can just, if you want to make them walk uh, forward, just step on the back of the leg, then they move forward, if you on the front of the leg, then move backwards. So, move them uh, wherever you want to, how much uh, you would like to, uh, but uh, uh, the touching should only be where uh, bathing suits usually aren't, okay? I <laughs> there would be enough way for, for to move everything uh, about them. Uh, and they can speak, and they can talk, and you can, and they can talk, and you can help them look and show what they're talking about. And you can also make them uh, make a, give them a hard time, so they can have to justify why they're moving the way they do. But okay. you can't talk. No, you can't talk. Okay. Only move them. Um, what I need here is a relationship between our two actors. Uh, mother and son. Mother and son. So, mother and son. Uh, let's take initial pose, so pose them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, mother and son, mother and son? They decide. You just move them. Okay. Just initial pose. And, okay. Take it away. Okay, son. So, next time the bully comes at you, you take this pose and... And you say it's not, and you rub his head, and you say it's okay. But what if he hits me? Rub his head, and you start touching his feet. This is okay, who hurt me? Is it your papa? You know, and you look at the sky and say, Papa, don't help him anymore. Papa. But what if he's really, really big? You turn him upside down and say, Papa, you look, show him Papa. You show him Papa and say, Papa, do not help him. <laughs> and if he's really big, you take, you go on one knee. <laughs> and that's where the balls are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the next game, we're gonna need Clara. Clara, coming up. And um, even though that's enough, I'm gonna call to everyone else also to be on the side of the stage. Okay, so this is another game called, I think you can already guess, Press Conference. So in this game, Clara is gonna hold a press conference. Uh, she is going to be some famous character, whatever that would be a celebrity, something that we all know. Uh, yeah, try, try and be inside of. Okay, I hope you're in the view. So, uh, she, uh, Clara is going to be some, some famous character, something we all, uh, we all know. Uh, preferably, a uh, character that won't hold, actually ever hold a press conference because that would be more entertaining. Uh, and Clara, uh, we need to guess what character she is. And why does she hold the press conference? Both things she's gonna need to guess. To help her out, she's gonna step outside and then we all decide on those things. Uh, to help her out, we have the press here. So the press will ask questions 
to guide the character, to guide Clara to uh, identify the character and why she's holding the press conference. Uh, and first, please start with helping out with uh, what character she is and only then ask uh, questions about why she holds the press conference. Okay? Uh, so she's gonna, uh, they're gonna ask questions and then Clara will answer the questions as a character that she doesn't know what the character is yet. Uh, and whenever she's getting uh, close to guessing, you can help her out by clicking your fingers, doing this. This will make her, let her know that she's close. Whenever she guesses something that's completely off, we will all uh, practice our Hebrew and clear our throat. <coughs> <laughs> and now she knows she's far off. And whenever she gets it right, you give her the best gift you can give her actor and just give her a hand. <laughs> so, Clara, please step outside. And now the aqua pop when I'm supposed to wait until she's out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. No, take uh, just for safety. Another time. Okay, so uh, I need a character again, uh, probably a character that would, would never hold a press conference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. We all clear with SpongeBob? Yes. Okay, awesome. So, SpongeBob. Why would SpongeBob hold a press conference? Yeah. Preferably something that has nothing to do with SpongeBob, okay? He's yeah. building a rhyme for president. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, something that you don't actually hold a press conference for. It's pencil on fire. It's too close to being SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Something that has a Russia. Huh? Launching the nuke on Russia. Uh, so it's a real uh, reason to hold the press conference. He's announcing the LHC or whatever. The answer in being. He's banning Okay, he's banning strawberries. Okay, <laughs> so we have SpongeBob SquarePants who's banning strawberries. So I'm gonna call Clara and I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce you. So again, remember, it's uh, uh, you about with uh, wherever she goes. So SpongeBob square, SquarePants uh, and it's banning strawberries. No, I'm gonna present her, so it's okay. Uh, so, don't yell it out by mistake and help with the clicks and the height. <laughs> okay, everyone, thank you for coming. We have a special occasion here. You know, we have quite a VIP here, someone who's loved by all, doesn't have a lot of time. And please keep your questions right to the point and brief. Your stage is yours. Hi there. Um, this is this is Rui from Kitchen Experts. Like I I'm very surprised. Like why are you always at the beach instead of in the kitchen? Um. Well, you know the beach is where surfing is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So this is Rico from Squid News, and I'd like to ask, how is it being here without your best friend? Uh, well, you know, honestly, I left my clarinet at home, too. That's also a real best friend of mine, but, um, you know, sometimes we have to make sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah, my name is uh, Nathan from Political Today. Yeah. You're the first, it's the first time you hold a press conference. Mm. Are you yellow? <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's an intimidating question. So we're gonna have, so here, a nice safe, which is fun with no drowning. Hi, yeah. I'm David from a Marine Biologist Digest Daily. Nice I wanted to ask, are you one of a kind? Because uh, I've seen you in the kitchen, but I've never actually seen you anywhere else. I mean, yeah, I like to think of myself as one of a kind. Not many people have pants like mine, not many people are ready like I am, and not many people can flip a crab Krabby Patty like I am. <laughs> You know, we'll be here, they have quite an extensive career behind them, but we're looking forward to the future. So let's say our question is supposed to be about the future here. Uh, Sam from Cartoon Network Online, I want to ask you, is it because of shortcake? Um, first of all, Sam, got to tell you, don't appreciate you coming into a Nickelodeon press conference. <laughs> That's right, take, take them out! Take them out! Oh, yeah. Get out of here. This is George from the Fruit Committee. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask, why do you hate fruits? Mm -hmm. Um, I just prefer eating very sweet, sugary foods like I'm going to be doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Uh, Dave from India the other day? Uh, <laughs> so, is it because it's pink? Uh, 
I look, my feelings against strawberries are not anyone's business but my own. Uh, this is Donald, but politically. Hey, Donald. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you. Do you get a lot of Trump jokes? Sorry, tired territory. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I mean, I call my hair to match. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I thought you were kind of inviting it. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, is it the first day of a dictatorship? Of a dictatorship? Um, outlawing yeah. strawberries? I think it's not. <laughs> And we know it's kind of cake, we're not getting for our kids this birthday. So, if you're gonna clear the stage, thank you. So, the next one, I'm gonna name Uri and Fred. I need the props from our producer. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> the next game is one of my favorites, I always said it because I always lie. So, this game is Who's Lying? A very famous game, and in this game, Fred and Uri are gonna act out the scene. Every now and then, they're gonna forget the lines of the script. And for that, they have the lines that you wrote them from before the show started. And they're gonna like, open up the notes and read out the lines, and that's exactly what it was that they were planning on saying all along. So, uh, for this game, what I need from you as inspiration uh, is a uh, profession. Carpet Car makers. 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 You know, it's almost as good as the thing we had last week. The when thing, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I remember, it. yeah, man. Why is there a thumbnail in my cheesecake? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good until this very moment. Oh my god, it always ruins my. I don't know. I, I, I don't think. I don't think it was the waiter's uh, fault. I think actually, it must have been you. I mean. My, my fingernail always my cheesecake? Cut your che uh, your hey, I'm clipping your, my fingernails your, yeah. here, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if you do it here in the shop. I mean, even there, it's, it's, it's gross, but you know... Uh, so I dropped my phone into the toilet the other day, <laughs> and there were fucking finger clips. You know? <laughs> Listen... Everywhere. It's everywhere. On the cheesecake, that was the worst. Listen, don't blame this on me. Like, it's very important to keep your hygiene clean, especially when you have waiters in the shop. Like, you know, you know, you know they're cute. You don't want to to not be at your best. Cuties, do you think you, you, you impress them with your toes? I definitely have a shot. I definitely have a shot if I, I keep know, my I, hygiene. I even, what do you think? No, I don't think this is... Uh, you know what? I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure that if there are slugs in the bathroom, then... then <laughs> Fingernails doesn't even matter, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm actually pretty sure that if I can act, that if I can, um, <laughs> the bathroom, man. Ha it's haven't the Jewish worse. people suffer enough? I'm telling you, this it's funny. Obviously, I mean, I, 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 I suffering enough from your jokes already. <laughs> Come on. Uh, there's an English alternative alternative for kapara. You know? <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's luck. You know? Okay. Thank you. I think we've gotten to know the uh, Israeli culture with this game. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. So for this, for the next game, I'm gonna need. The next game is for me and Nitan. And we're gonna need the technical help of El Elan. So, yeah. so we're gonna keep it simple. So we're just gonna start, I think. Uh, how much time do we have for this thing? Um, let's see, let's see, five and a half. Oh no, 60 seconds. 60 seconds, okay, so we're gonna do a scene in 60 seconds. It's gonna be the best scene ever, of course, because we have 60 seconds, there's more than enough time for everything. What I need from you as expression is an object. Marcel, 
This is a tiresome walk, I tell you. This is what? A tiresome walk. I'm so tired. Really? You're tired? I'm the one carrying the one on this fucking mallet here, and you're the one that's tired. Yeah, being a walk manager sucks. <laughs> Have you tried being a worker? Oh. I mean, you can try, like, hey. Oh, 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 man. Oh, that's, that's, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. It, it ain't so easy, isn't it, now? I think so. Ain't so happen. easy. No, it doesn't do, do, you know, bend my knees and stretch my back. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh someone threw his back out. Oh, you're going to take sick leave now? Yeah. I, I, do you need a doctor? No. I, do you want your mom? Yeah. Are you going to cry? I'm going to cry for my you're mom. Gonna cry? Right? I'm telling you to the boss. But like your boss. My boss? The boss is boss? The boss is boss is going to Oh my god! Okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, well, I, 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 I kind of have a short attention span, so how about we do in 30 seconds? I just want to try that. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Okay, so the same, the same scene? Exactly. Yeah, cut the okay. fluff. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. Oh, so tired, so tired. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried carrying that mallet around. Well, being a manager sucks, you know. <laughs> try being a worker, I mean, come on, just try it. Oh, 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 my boss is bad. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very much. I think it's a bit too long, right? So, so let's let's still try still and okay. oh, still slow? do the same thing in fifteen seconds. Oh, fifteen seconds. Okay, let's okay. 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 try. Yeah. Uh, tire some, tire some, tire Yeah, yeah, mallet. <laughs> Worker? No, okay. man. Yeah. Worker. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, back. Oh, do you go, are you going to cry? Do you want your mama? Mama. Yeah? Or ain't going to work for you? Okay, okay. I, I, I think it's at least, at least seven seconds that we yeah. can throw out. Okay. So let's try to do it in eight seconds. In eight seconds, okay. <laughs> Tell us a 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 So, um, actually, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice if you got it. I think that like the, 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 the main essence. idea of this scene uh, can be summarized in two seconds. What do you guys think? Yeah. 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 Stage and tell us a story. So, does anyone have a story they want to tell us? Besides just before, okay, yeah, we have a story here in yeah. fact. So, yeah, <laughs> take it away. Okay, my story actually was a bit of time, like really like short. It's whatever you want to, it doesn't have to have a punchline. Oh, uh, so my story starts off kind of sad but then ends very beautiful. <laughs> I have a sister and we're two years apart, so we like grew up really close. And her name is Jessie, and we just grew up really close, so only two years apart. And when I was 10 and she was 12, um, she got really sick and had pneumonia. And April 8th, 2004, around 8, 8 in the morning, she, she died. And I've always been like, kind of like obsessed with butterflies my whole life. I'm just like, love butterflies. My whole room is butterflies, everything. And my friend uh, kind of like told me that, oh, but do you know butterflies, what they symbolize? And I'm like, no. And we searched it, and um, it said that uh, butterflies actually symbolize angels. I'm like, that's so weird. I've been obsessed with them like forever, and like she's gone now. So I got this like tattoo on my neck, and I got like one for her and two others, so like she won't be lonely, and she'll always have like another butterfly to play with. And that's it. Awesome. <laughs> 
Okay, so thank you very much for Caleb for sharing that. Okay. So we're gonna have another montage, and of course uh, we we're gonna try uh, and uh, respectfully have uh, quite fun with it. And I hope uh, you can uh, be okay with it. Okay, awesome. So uh, we're gonna have a montage, a comical co a montage of something more. So take it away. <laughs> I tell you, those butterflies have it all. <laughs> People see them and they say, pretty. They see us and they say, eh, mosquitoes. We gotta improve mm. our reputation. Mm, I don't know. But you don't know. I don't know. They don't like you at all. They don't like me. They don't like they don't you. They don't like us. They clap because they want to kill you. Well. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Mosquito, I thought I told you to stay out of my home. Uh -huh. Are you wearing makeup? <laughs> so it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried dressing provocatively? <laughs> well, you like my red dress. I'm gonna get red angry dress. in about a few minutes of staring at you. So that didn't work. Mm, no. Have you tried talking sweetly to him? My, my sweet voice. Exactly like. Mm, I don't Go to him. Uh, well, I told you enough times. Nothing can change my mind. I, I tell you, you can't surprise me with anything. How about a <laughs> song that you like? I'm listening. <laughs> Do you like Gaba? <laughs> You're in the tunnel. Man, you gotta work on your repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, I'm so excited that I saw this girl go again and I felt angels in my stomach. <laughs> Yes, I, I, we've been coming for, for a while now. This, this, this. I don't know what to do with this. I feel that. Hi. <laughs> oh. oh my god, your stomach is glowing. Yes. <laughs> Are you okay? Do Whenever you you're here, I'm, I'm, I'm possibly lifting. I don't know why. Oh my god, you are? We checked it out, you're not schizophrenic, but we will need an exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thank you for coming from the professional exorcist uh, clinic. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, it's nothing very serious. Uh, just a few angels in the stomach, uh, you know, uh, we always have some uh, sprites and uh, we have some kind of uh, extraterrestrial beings, always in the organs of people. When well, someone uh, with people from Mars to their liver, um, I'm just gonna describe to you Maybe you want to see some less exciting girls. Maybe someone boring. Maybe someone from, you know, from the department. Uh, like, like, give me a break. Give me a break. You're not a scientist. Stop telling people, oh, you shouldn't see women. What kind of an object, what kind of an observation is that? Well, You're not a scientist, so give me a break. Uh, is it you who's criticizing me? Or oh, the rays of Jupiter? It is me who's criticizing you. Jupiter doesn't care about you. Jupiter doesn't care about us either. So please stop. So Danny, I heard the exorcist told you to see other people. And I know it might be wrong, but as your psychiatrist, I might help you with that. <laughs> You know, I never tattooed hummus on anyone. <laughs> a bottle of hummus. Wow, this is so exotic. This is a very enlightening experience for us. Oh, I got it wrong again. <laughs> this is so lifelike. It's okay, honey. I don't believe it. Yep. I have falafels! <laughs> Look! Do you want to mix them? Ow! <laughs> oh, 
Listen up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Listen up. Mm-hmm. You want to part with us? We're going to be with these guys, right? You're going to these guys, gonna take right? these guys on? You're not going to be with these guys, right? Yeah. Well, tell me then. I'm why not. do you have a fucking unicorn on your hand? Funny story about that. You know, growing up, I used to be the no, one. No, 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 I know you're not one of us. I'm not one of us. I'm so one of you, yeah. No, no, uh, no, I no, I no, 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 no. I have this red, you know, like, it's about a unicorn. I love unicorns, okay? I love unicorns. And you know what? Unicorns are tough. <laughs> unicorns are so tough. <laughs> They're so tough. <laughs> show me it. Come on, show me it. Come on. Come on. Show me the pixie. <laughs> show me, come on. Like oh. these unicorn losers give you free. <laughs> I mean, come on. Pink pixies. Damn. I don't want to join this group anymore! They're yeah. making fun of my unicorns! They're so unicorn-phobic! <laughs> <laughs> well, we... Hi, so welcome to the sorority. You're gonna be our sister from now on. <laughs> it's gonna last forever. Four years tops. And then you're going to the real world. That's of course if you pledge. Ah, uh, okay! <laughs> so I have to take your shirt off. The bra off. Okay. <laughs> Run around the stadium twice. <laughs> uh, say, I'm a beautiful butterfly. So, I heard I can become a sister here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so, I want to call to stage everyone. So, everyone on the stage. So we are almost done with the show. We have just one final game left. This game is open for everyone. If you feel like trying out uh, the game, you can come. It's what we call a line game. We stand in a line, and if you have an idea, you come to the front and you, uh, you present your idea. So you can be on stage even if you don't have an idea. So if you want to come, the uh, invitation is open, and you can come even afterwards. If you understand the game, if you want to come afterwards, you can just come up on stage and join us. Uh, this game uh, is a family-friendly game called Sex With Me. And in this game, we're gonna advertise why sex with us is so good. So we're gonna have suggestions from you. You're gonna give us objects and actions. And, uh, if you, and then we're gonna say that sex with us is like that object or that action. Uh, uh, you're gonna understand it by the time we, uh, we are halfway through. So we're gonna uh, ask an object, an object or an action. And each of you that has an idea, just come up, up on the front, in the center here, tells an idea, and then goes back to the line. So, I need from you uh, an object that starts with an object. Wow. A microwave. A microwave. Sex with me is like a microwave. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. Last one minute, two minute tops. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. Even the children can operate properly. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. I'm going to tell you when I'm done. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. It is said it can give you cancer. <laughs> Sex with me, with me is like a microwave. Well, at least I can get the center warm. Sex with me, is, with me is like a microwave. Don't put in any metals. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. Don't put, put in your cat. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. Honestly, at this point, it's just easier. <laughs> Sex with me is like a microwave. If it heats up too much, it's gonna splatter. Sex with me is like a microwave. Students and t- children use this. List. Okay, new suggestion, an action, please. Playing a guitar. Playing a guitar. Sex with me is like playing, playing a guitar. Sex with me is like playing a guitar. Guitar. It has a hole. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing a guitar. Young children learn it because they're kind of edgy. <laughs> It's like playing a guitar, it involves a lot of finger work. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing a guitar, all you need to know is four chords. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing a guitar, oh, I dropped my pick inside again. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing a guitar, it's way cooler if you break it in the end. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing the guitar, it's awesome if it's electric. <laughs> Sex with me is like playing with a guitar, you have to be good with your fingers. Sex to me is like playing a guitar, you gotta know how to finger the G string. Sex to me is like playing a guitar. Usually only an air guitar. Okay, new action. Boy Mitzvah. 
It's a bird. I want to go with a it's like you know, studying the Torah, but it's too easy. It's all consumption. Another action. Okay, you uh, okay? Washing the dishes. Sex is the washing the dishes. Sex with me is like washing the dishes. We have a rotation wheel. <laughs> Sex with me is like washing the dishes. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> Sex with me is like washing the dishes. Very soapy, and if you do it too hard, then your hands are sore. <laughs> Sex with me is like doing the dishes. I haven't done it for years. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like doing the dishes. My mom is so anal about it. <laughs> Sex with me is like washing the dishes. Please try not to clog it up. <laughs> sex with me is like washing the dishes. So much better if the water is hot. <laughs> One less su suggestion and object. A blender. A blender? <laughs> sex with me is like a blender. <laughs> sex with me is like a blender. A blender. I bet if we try all these things together, it'll work out. <laughs> sex with me is like a blender. Everyone loves the juice. <laughs> Sex is, is, is like a blender. You buy it just for a new diet, and then you never use it. <laughs> Sex with me is like a blender. Not a good idea to put your fingers inside. <laughs> Sex with me is, is like a blender. Usually it's an anniversary gift. <laughs> Sex with me is like a blender. It's not that hard. The first thing you need to do is turn it on. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So we are Improv Technion. So as I said, we teach and perform uh, improv shows in Technion uh, from beginners group and advanced group. We don't know the sky is the limit, so we don't know how far from group, what uh, kind of level to what kind of level. Uh, so each uh, first week of semester and each last week of semester, we have hold the show here. I think it's always for free, and we teach improv. So you might even haven't noticed, but some of the people here uh, only started improv just a few weeks ago, at most. Ten, uh, three months ago. So improv is something you can learn from not knowing it at all and to performing very quickly and it's a lot, a lot of fun so we welcome anyone to join. We're gonna have three sessions of uh, games that are open to everyone. We're gonna just meet uh, once a week and have just free form games uh, once a week here in the Technion. So please look at the uh, Improv Technion on, on Facebook to know what days it is because we still haven't decided. Everything is for free and of course when I say free is of course uh, by the help of people. So I want to very much uh, uh, thank uh, Ilana Pribo. You can come up here. Woo! A very great show tonight. I really enjoy it. Hope you all, uh, all of you enjoy it too. And I want to invite you all, if you have any ideas for cultural events or social meetings, social activities you want to you wanna have it here in the campus, uh, you are welcome to come by my office at the Dean of, dean of uh, Students Dean um, and let me know what do you want to have, to, to have here um, as, as events and meetings. Thank you very much. <laughs> Voluntarily, so we just need their room and time, and the dinner students' office gives us all of it. So thank you. And as I said, uh, free is with the help of, people, of other people. So we have our producer Ilana Jovitsky. Uh, <laughs> quietly produce the show, and it's always said that the, the producer's job isn't known when they do it, uh, when they perform a good job. So this is why you, you would probably even even notice that we have a producer. So thank you very much. And. <laughs> So thank you very much. Woo!